basically my simple question is this do you believe in God or not yourself? No, yeah, well, I want to ask you, how would you know if you believed or not? Okay, from an Islamic perspective, we know several ways of knowing that God exists. For example, we have something called the fitra, which is an innate disposition to recognize God. We have revelation. So we have several means yeah, to know. There assumption on those, all, the, all those things are rest on an assumption about the nature of things. A revelation is, and you, then you define revelation, then you say that's what it is, and then you're supposed to believe. Now, this this thing was. I'm not saying that, sir. I'm just asking you. Yeah. Do you believe in a creator or a divine? I believe everything. Everything happens because of everything that happens. Okay, but so in other words, are you saying there is a cause for everything that's happened? Everything it happens because of everything that happens. Okay, so what caused the universe? What? It's not. It, it keeps on going. No cause. Who, to, who said that to you? Sir? Yeah, it is happening. Here's the thing. Oh, yes, yes. Generally, it's accepted amongst the scientists, amongst philosophers, in general people, the universe began to exist. They had a beginning, it came into existence. No, no, it can't have come out of where? Where did it, it came come from? into existence? From where? That's something we can discuss, but you at least expect that. Accept that. What, that it came into existence? The universe began to exist. I, I say that I, the, the universe operates according to laws and it contracts and expands all the time. It's constantly going either this way or this That's way. That's not what scientists are saying. Well, too bad. The, the, the most widely accepted theory is something closer to the Big Bang theory, which is the universe at a particular point came into existence. Yeah, but at that Big Bang, from the Big Bang, that means expansion. Sure. But going that back, we expansion. can discuss this. Going back to the main point, do you believe that there is a God, a being that created everything? Are you an atheist? No. Okay. So what? How would you? What would you say you were? Who are you? An agnost, or an atheist, a theist? Just so I know who I'm speaking to. No, I'm none of those things. I'm not any definition. I'm no description. I'm beyond description. That's fair enough, sir. But I am. Okay, you are. That's fair enough. I know you are. You're standing here right now. I am. And one, day, and one day you will not be. Like are all of us won't no, be, No, no, right? no, that's not true. So you're that, not going to die? That's your belief. You won't die? No, I don't die, no. So you've aged. You Weren't you a little no. kid once? Your body, you're attached to a body, but you're not a body. We believe that too. We're attached Look, to a body. But your you body dies. The next, if you're going to the next world as you believe, right? You go to the next world, what is exactly goes to the next world? We'll discuss all of this, but I want to address a point at a time. Right now, we're going all over the place, right? So well, right? according to you. Okay, you the reason I'm asking what you believe is so we can have a discussion, right? That's what I'm saying. Do you believe in God or you don't? It's simple, yes or no? I mean, it's not, it's not a simple at Oh, all. you don't know? Well, you don't know? There's no. another option. No, I've no. The idea of a God, some, what, some sort of personal thing? Okay, what I'll be it? more specific. Do you believe in a personal being who created everything no. that exists? You don't? No, absolutely. Okay, now what are your reasons not to believe in such a being? Uh, um, I don't think it's like that. I don't think it's a personal God. I don't think it is a personal God. Let me, let me once again put this into perspective. We have a universe that popped into existence about 13.7 billion years ago, right? This universe is governed by laws. The laws of physics, the laws of logic, mathematics. This universe is also precisely fine-tuned. Not only this, a, a planet emerges in the, in the corner of one of the galaxies, the Earth. On this planet, a creature emerges, the human being, who's rational, who's logical, who's conscious, who can understand the physical universe. How do you account for this in atheism? If you want to say, if you want to say that this is just by chance, millions of, millions, sir, millions of them one don't second, understand. sir, if you want to, millions of them don't sir, understand. if you want to say this is by chance, go ahead. But you're not fooling anyone except yourself. No, here it is. It's by chance. Things happen. It's by chance. Things are happening. Why not be a millionaire? Sir, it's by chance. Show us how it's planned. Sir, Why you're by chance. Be a millionaire to be okay. a millionaire. Rational cognitive thought, emotions, feelings. You being a human being who could think is by chance. It, it happens under law, but it also it also is. That ha things just happen, sir. How? Accidentally. That's what happened. Out of millions, that happens. That occurs. Right? Okay, what's your point? Sir? The point is, it's not a. It's not organized according to. Oh well, look, we'll put this one here and this one here. It's like if a ma if there's a horticulturist knows how to grow trees or whatever, he can take a seed, pop it in, and grow it. Okay. Consciously. Okay, can you he can do that. Okay. Right? But here's now, the but thing. Nature, it happens just by blowing the wind. Is it the seeds blow in the wind, right? They land where they land, okay. and then things happen. Okay, that's fine. You're talking about what already is coming to existence, right? That's what exists. Why? Look, please understand what I'm saying, sir. First, number one, the universe comes into existence apparently by chance, does according it? to you. Does it? One second, sir. Apparently by chance. Who knows that it comes into existence? 
Sir, majority people accept this. No, no, no. Okay, no, hold on. I'll just hold on. A second. Yes. Who knows it comes into existence? Are you going to challenge the universe came into existence? I'm asking that it. Uh, Sir, are you going to challenge? Do you, how do you know it comes into existence? Because from our reasoning, from scientific evidence, from all of these things compiled, the most rational thing to believe is that the universe began to exist. But before that, before that took place, there is you to know, to recognize that. No, you have to be there first to recognize it. God doesn't exist in okay. a separate. Do you believe in science? God couldn't exist. Do you believe in science? You. What? What? What's like a, do you believe in science? Believe in science. Science tells us theories of science. Science observes. E equals mc squared. Well, what do you exactly? Want? Science tells us about things that we weren't there to witness as well. Yeah, of course it does. So exactly, that's yeah, your criteria. But even by the same criteria, there has to be a. There has to be a conscious person there we'll, to know that these things occur. Sure, that's fine. Right. We'll discuss these things, now. but I want to I address the and first then point. And after that is definition. Address the first point, sir. You weren't there for the Big Bang. Okay. You didn't know that happened. Sir, address the first point. This universe exists, right? Okay? This universe is governed by laws which we can understand. Yes? This universe is on the move all the time. Is the universe governed by laws? As you are, and it'll end. Is the universe governed by laws? It sir? might begin again, just like the, the daffodils will grow in spring. You're trying to avoid the point now. You're trying to avoid That's the point. What will happen? You're trying to avoid the point. Well, of course, there you are. You see, you'll say I'm avoiding the point. I'll say I'm answering the point. Sir, I'm asking you a very specific question. Well, I'm, ch I'm giving you a very specific question. Is, is the universe governed by laws? It doesn't happen to suit your criteria. That's why you're saying that. Okay, I'm what's your answer to the question? Is the universe governed by laws? It is governed by laws. The laws it of physics? It appears to be. Okay. Yeah. Is the universe mathematically coherent? Maybe. Up to a point, yeah. So if it wasn't, we could not do mathematics. Do you understand point. that point? Up to a point. We don't know everything. So it's almost like there you're trying to... There are things to... we don't know. Okay, I, agree. I accept that. There are I things that. beyond sure. that mathematics. Sure. We're only scraping the surface sure. of. Is the universe fine-tuned? It's what? Is it fine-tuned? I don't know. Is it fine-tuned? Cosmologists fine are telling us that there are certain constants and quantities in the universe which are precisely fine-tuned. So it has these laws. It is governed and it is fine-tuned to quite a precise degree. Some of these constants are extremely precise, right? Now the point is, this on top of this, we have human beings who are rational, who can understand these things. How do you account for this in the absence of God? Well, what you're talking about is descriptions. What people have is descriptions. No, no. What I'm saying is, see, the difference between us and the animals is that we can understand the universe. Yeah, we, we don't can, understand. No, That's an assumption. We can. We do. You're taking a step. Okay, can we do physics? No, no. Hold on a second. Do we do physics? When they went out, in when they went out into yes. space. That was a collective of men, a collective of intelligences, yes. all together worked on and put it out in space, right? What I'm saying is, can we do mathematics? Some of us can, yeah. We understand deduction, some right? Some of us can. Okay. Yes, yeah, some of us are good at it, some of us are very bad, right? I'm very bad at it myself. Can we understand the laws of physics? Some of us can, yeah. We're the one, some of, okay, fair enough. Some of us understand better than others, but the point is, the human beings are the ones that actually wrote these laws. They perceived these laws and they wrote them down. They're, they're, I'll tell you what about the fellows who understand it. They understand that to have certainty is a very precarious thing in science. That's fair enough. I agree with that. I agree with that. But what I'm saying is that we have the capacity to understand things about the universe. And the things that we don't understand, we have to be silent about. What That's can we enough. say? I agree. I, I'm saying we don't know everything, but we have the ability right. to understand. We have the ability to do science, in other words, right? right. Okay. So, so. Animals can't do that. My point is, from a purely evolutionary perspective, you cannot account for our abilities over no, the abilities no. of animals. I'd like to go back to the religious point, right? Can we stick to this point can first? I just stay with this? We'll go back to the religious point. Can I'll, we answer this I'll point? just say about the religious point, right? The Christian notion is, right? The Christ said to the who followers, whoever were there, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, right? So therefore, according to Christianity, the potential is to be perfect, whatever that may mean, right? That's the per that's the okay. Now it's not. He it, it doesn't say you've got to be very clever. He says you've got to be perfect. What is that? Said this is a red herring. We'll, no, we'll it's address not. this. No, no, your your re your your religion follows on from Abraham. I, I, follows okay. on from I, I, Jesus Christ. Sure. I will, Jesus I will tell you why, from the Islamic perspective, we, ha we, we can justify our rational faculties. We can justify why we have the intellect, right? But why I'm asking you yeah, first, you, can you... you invoke a God theory. It's the best explanation. That's what, that's what you invoke. Yeah, it's the best explanation. If you're denying it, give me a better explanation. No, I haven't got... I'm not saying I have a better explanation. Okay, then this is the point. If someone's giving you an inference, someone's giving you the best explanation, I'll, I'll define it for you, just so you understand why I'm making the inference, right? See, from the Islamic perspective, it's simple. God created us to worship Him. Yes? Well, you might know, no, I'm just telling you, right? From the Islamic perspective, yeah, yes. From the Islamic perspective, God created us to worship Him. 
Worship is an action, sir. Yes? Yeah, it's something. One second, let me just finish. Worship? Let me finish. I'll, I'll explain. It. Let me finish. Worship is something we do. As human beings, when we do things, we have to understand why we do things. We have to be able to understand and reason, right? What God does is in the Quran, when He leads us to His worship, He tells us about, He shows us His creative power. He tells us to reflect over the heavens and the earth. He tells us in the Quran, we will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it's the truth. He wants us to reflect. He wants us to use the capacities He's given us to see how marvelous this universe is, see how, how much, how, how amazing His creative power is, so we worship Him. How right? then does it decline all the time? So how, then, how then does it decline all the time? How do religions decline? That's an irrelevant point. We'll address that after, Absolutely sir. Absolutely irrelevant. No, it isn't. It is irrelevant it's completely point. a red herring. It's, the message comes down, right? The sure. prophet comes here, and the sooner he's on the earth, and his mess, or he's leaving, left the earth. I will answer all of your questions. As soon as he's left the earth, then they start fighting okay. him. I will John. answer. That, did that okay, happen in Islam? Did one that one happen one in one Islam? Second, sir. I will answer. Did the Christians do the same sir, thing? I will answer, answer your each questions, other. but first, let's just finish what we're discussing. Off. I gave you the best explanation according to me. The best inference. Now I'm asking you, I'm being fair, I'm asking you, can you provide me with another inference, not better, for your reliable cognitive no. factors, your high no. level thought? No, no. You can't. I don't Yet even want to, I wouldn't even try, I'm not trying. Okay. That's not the inference. That isn't the question. So that what do you say to that then? What, how, what do you, how do you justify, what do you say to yourself then? How do you justify to yourself that somehow through these blind, random, irrational processes you have developed as a rational, conscious being? How do you justify that to yourself? I don't justify anything. So you just accept it as it is, that's it? You're just here. This okay. is it. It's just there. But what I've said, are you, you rejecting or accepting what do, I've said? You do that. That's what you do. That's, your, that's what you say, that's what you believe. But you, no you, problem with that. So, okay, but you do realize just saying it just is there isn't an explanation. You do realize that. Why should I want to give an explanation? Okay, so you're happy and content just... just At the moment, um, where I am is fine. Sure. But you... See, what I told you when I was talking about the Islamic perspective was that God created us to worship Him, right? And if you don't worship Him, there's certain consequences. You're not, you're not worried about those? Obviously not. Something we need to think about. You think that's, that, that's true for you, yeah. But is there something that it's not, you're, you're not, not worried true about? For, it's not true for me, no. Sure. Okay, but here's the thing. I've just given you one reason, which is our reliable cognitive factors, our ability to think, which points directly towards the transcendent. Yeah, yeah. But you're not willing to think about it, and you're willing to what, take the consequences, because you realize that this being, he created us with a definitive reason, which is to worship him. Yeah, you, that's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying, but I've given you a good inference. I've given you one, if you like, evidence, which shows there must be the divine who is personal, who gave us our consciousness, who gave us the ability to think and come to him, come to his worship. But you're rejecting that. The consciousness that you talk about is consciousness we create ourselves. We create the consciousness. So you're saying you created our your own consciousness? Con the consciousness we have of our life, the story we tell ourselves, that's created no, no, no. by... I, we I think create, we're not understanding each we other. We create that. Okay. Now, what I mean by consciousness, let me just define it. I don't think you understand what I said. Our conscious minds, you know this third person subjective experience we have, for example, how it feels, what's your favorite fruit? Bananas. Bananas, okay. Take that as an example. Now, how you feel when you eat a banana is not how I feel when I eat a banana. This is your third person subjective experience. This is your conscious experience, right? Now, science can tell you when you're eating a banana, there may be certain changes taking place in your brain neurology, right? But what science can't tell you is that third person subjective experience you feel. You know, being aware that you're aware. This experience, this immaterial conscious state, yeah cannot be justified in the absence of God. And I'm asking you, can you justify it? No, 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 but you keep saying that. You keep coming back to your argument saying that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, but I'm, what is your mind then? What happens in your mind? So, Tell me. Again, what I'm saying, how do I justify it? In Islam, God created us to worship Him. Worship requires for us to have cognitive faculties which understand the Creator, understand His creative power. When we understand His creative power, we naturally submit to it, right? Okay. But from naturalism, these, you just think, and I, I respect that you're saying that I have no explanation, I just accept them, right? I respect that about you. That you're saying, you know what? I don't have an explanation, but I just, it just is. I respect that about you, I really yeah, we're, do. We're but what I'm saying, sir... We don't accept sure. what is, that's sure. the problem. What I'm saying, sir, is really we think about... We want an explanation for... Instead of accepting what is, we want an explanation. Ah, but this one, I'm providing you with an explanation. I know, that's what we want. Sure. Some people need that. Yes. They're insecure, they need to have an explanation. No, that's... Okay, fair enough. That's a nice little dig, sir, but the point is, you feel like we need an explanation. My point isn't that you need an explanation. My point is, it's very interesting that we have all of these faculties which naturalism can't justify, which cannot be justified in other than God. You don't have to justify them. 
You know, you just you can say that. You that's use them properly. That's what you do. So that's your prerogative. That's your prerogative. You want to say that? You go ahead and say that. That's yeah. your choice, right? Thank if you, you if you want to say that you can't justify them, and uh, you sorry, if you want to say you don't want to justify them, there's no need to. That's fine. But I'm not telling you. See, you're referring to the anthropic principle. I'm not telling you to be surprised that you you have rational faculties. What I'm telling you to do is not be surprised at your rational faculties, but to really consider where did they arise from? What best explains them? Because as human beings, we look for explanations. That's what science does. And what I'm saying is the best explanation is the divine, because he created us with these abilities so we can worship.